what is going on guys and so this is our first project uh, with the Raspberry Pi so there are certain things that you need for the hardware so we are going to be building like we are going to be controlling the LED using the Raspberry Pi so to start you need the Raspberry Pi I have connected it to my laptop because the Wi-Fi is way outside the room like okay so next you need the LED some jumper cables specifically two if you want to connect more LEDs you can take more and also you'll need the LED and then you need a resistor for each LED so I have this 1k ohm resistor but um, you can take any resistor that is about at least maybe 100 or 200 ohms so yeah then you need a breadboard and that is basically all of it so let's go to the software okay so for the software part you will need to install this using this command and if you are going to use Python 3 then you just need to put a 3 in front of Python but in this video I'm going to be using normal Python so now let's get back to our wiring of the LED okay so you'll need the breadboard and what you're gonna do with the breadboard is you're gonna take your LED and you're just gonna plug it in to some somewhere so I'm going to plug it in right here and you can see it's in those two holes so the way the breadboard is connected is these things these rows are connected vertically and these rows are connect uh, rows are connected vertically and these are connected sideways so go ahead and put your um led on here and you'll need to take a note of where you put the long end and the short end so the long end is the positive terminal of the led and the short end is the negative so you need to run the power supply into the positive so now just take your jumper cable and plug it in on the row where you have the positive end of the led connected so right here all right it's in that row and now just take your resistor I have a 1k ohm resistor and you're gonna put it into the row where the negative end of the LED is connected and then put the second end right here so just like that hope you can see so so the negative end is this and it is connected with this and then the second end of the resistor is put in here so now take uh, another jumper cable and just plug it in onto this so it is connected so the resistor needs to go to the black wire and the positive end of the LED needs to go to the red wire and now you're gonna bring in your Raspberry Pi I have a model B of Raspberry Pi 3 so for this model the pin numbering is as follows so I'll put up a diagram in a minute so you can check it out and so the red wire that is going to be the input is going to go in the sixth pin on the right so holding your Raspberry Pi like this you're gonna put it on the sixth pin so one two three four five six so right there sixth pin it's in and now you're gonna take the black wire and you're gonna put it on pin number three one two three so there it goes and there you have it that's the hardware um, sorry the wiring And let's get started with the coding. 
okay so now go to your raspberry pi i have connected my raspberry pi through um real vnc so you can connect your hdmi and stuff so let's get started with this so i'm just going to go into documents um and i'm right there then i'm going to make a dir so m k t i r and i'm going to write it as youtube and i'm going to make then i'm going to move to that directory and i'm going to um make a file that is with leaf pad so and i'm going to write um i'm going to name the file as led.py and that opens leaf pad and now what you want to do is from um gpio0 import um led and that's going to be in all caps and now what you're going to do is import time and that is it so for our first uh, for our first test we are going to try um turning on the led so i'm going to specify led and assign l e d okay so what this does is it takes the led and you have to specify the pin number here so currently if you have followed along your pin number is going to be 18 so you need to type in 18 and basically that's it you have set up your led now you you are going to turn on the led so you do that by typing led dot on and the parentheses then you're going to time dot sleep for five seconds oops five seconds and then you're going to turn off the led so dot off and done and that is basically it for a first um try so what is going to do is it is going to turn on the led it's going to stay on for five seconds and then it's going to turn off the led so let's test it out so let's just save it by control s why isn't it working save and then close this then i'm going to type python l e ed dot py and when i hit enter it should turn on the led so let's check it out and yes indeed it is turned on so that's good and it's off after five seconds basically so let's try doing something complex so i am going to try doing something that will blink the led so let's try it um so leaf pad again and what I'm gonna do is um do this so k equals um input and I'm going to type some text sleep for colon and then I'm going to close the parentheses so this so basically we are going to type something and that is going to be stored in k so we are going to type an integer and that's going to be stored in k you'll see why it's helpful okay for now let's just do a while loop so w h i l u while true and while it is true i want this does not need let's just put it here okay so we are almost set up and and then we are gonna specify this as toggle so basically what toggle does is that it changes the state of the led so if it is on it will turn it off and if it is off it will turn it on so now for time dot sleep i'm going to specify it as k so basically we are going to sleep for k amount of time and k is going to be the number that we enter so i'm going to do this as toggle and then we need to sleep for Okay. and that's basically done that's simple as that and what we are going to do with this is 
it is going to blink the LEDs. So we are going to specify the time sleep and then it is going to run the while loop and basically this is going to run forever unless and until we do a keyboard interrupt. So it is going to turn on sleep for K seconds, turn off sleep for K seconds and it's going to do that again and again. So let's test it out. Okay, so now I'm going to hit enter and I'll need to specify time for I'm going to just do point zero point five maybe. Let's do it. Enter. Okay, it's blinking and it's gonna do that for ever. So it's gonna sleep for zero point five seconds and it's going to turn on. So we are going to do a keyboard interrupt by doing control C and that's and that stops it. So now let's do it again, but this time with um, faster blinks. So I'm going to specify it as 0 0.1. I guess that would be okay. Let's hit enter and you can see it's blinking fast. Good. And that's going to be it for today, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you learned something. And bye. See you next time.